Hi, this is Colton from WhiplashPC.com. Today we have the Intel Core i7-980. This is a 6-core, 1366 socket. Uh, this is not the newest 6-core out. The newest 6-core out would be the socket 2011. Uh, this one comes in a probably about second to third place in the charts of processors in most applications. It's a very fast processor. As I said before, it's a 6-core, so it's going to be fast. It's a little outdated because there is a 2011 socket out. But for the 1366 socket, this is about as good as it gets. There is an i7-980X, but that price range is ridiculous compared to what you can overclock this one to stock. And let's go ahead. It's got 12-way multi-thread processing on this one. Six cores, 12 threads. Has Intel Hyper Threading technology, Turbo Boost technology, Smart Catch technology, integrated memory controller. Supports three-channel DDR3 memory, X58 compatible. Um... Graphics card required, obviously, it says, and a three-year warranty on it. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. Okay, before we start this off, I wanted to point out that it's a 130-watt processor, and it's a 1366 socket, as I said before. It has 12 megabyte catch, and the stock speed of this thing is 3.33 gigahertz. So now that that's good, it's the i7-980, not the X, it's just regular 980. I believe the 980X is clocked to about 3.8 or somewhere around there. Alright, so inside here we have the i7 manual. Just flip a few through pages here. Well, I guess I'm not going to seal it. I don't want to open it up. It has a Core i7 sticker on it. Wow, the heat sink that it comes with is absolutely incredible. I wasn't expecting a heat sink like this. Let's see here. It's an actual big boy here. It comes with the top of the line. It says Intel on the top. I'll try to back it out here so you can see it. Intel on the top has a nice fan grill on it, pretty decent sized fan. Bottom of it has a bracket on it, it looks like copper, solid copper on it. Back side's completely fan grill, along copper piping all the way through it. Very well built, you won't have a heat issue with this, and if you do, I'd be very surprised. It looks like a very well built fan by Intel, it's like a $50 fan that comes with it. Now I can kind of see why the processor was so high in price. Let's go ahead and see where the pro processor is. Here it is, it's up here. They make these things impossible to get out. Okay, so we got this thing out. There's no pins on it. It's all going to be touched by your motherboard. Your motherboard should have pins on it. It looks like there's pins, but it's actually just little spots of copper. Up here. You can try to see if we can read it. It'll focus in eventually, probably. It says Intel Core i7-920, or 980. Can't read. Uh, it's made in 08, up in Costa Rica, and 3.3 gigahertz. As you can see, it's focusing now perfectly clear. Let's get the backside quick here. It's a very nice looking chip. Obviously, it's going to look pretty much the same as all the other i7s until you plug it in and go. So we're going to run some tests on it, and we'll get back with you on that, and we'll show you what it looks like. Instead of actually running Prime 95 while having the camera on, I went ahead and ran it personally, and it ran incredible. Uh, what I'm showing you here is the Windows scoring test of the actual processor. The actual processor receives a 7.8 in the Windows scoring test, which is uh, very good because it only goes up to 7.9. Overall, I'm in love with this processor. It works great, and I highly recommend it. Thanks for viewing.